السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد all praise due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has guided us into this which is islam we would never have been guided if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not guided us all praise due to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we seek allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help and assistance we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness and we seek protection in allah from the evil of our soul and from the evil of our actions whomever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides nobody can able to misguide them and whomever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't want to guide nobody can able to guide them i dear witness there is no deity worship other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone with our partners and our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is allah's servant and messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the glorious Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha haqqa tuqatih wa la tamutunna illa wa antum muslimun O believers, O you who believe, get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as Allah mentioned in the Quran and do not die other than Muslim do not die other than submit to Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا او من كاين اي كريتد يو فروم ون بيرسون اند فروم هي ماي كريتد هيز وايف and from them I created many men and many women. Get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not cut relationship among your own kinship and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching over you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu attaqu allaha wa quulu qawlan sadeeda yuslih lakum a'malakum wa yufir lakum dhunubakum wa man yuti'i allaha wa rasoolahu faqad faaza fawzan azeema. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, O oh, believers, O oh, you who believe, get conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and speak the truth about oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obey Allah, obey Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will guide you to the right direction. He will forgive your sins and He will make you enter into the paradise. Bila Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ الْحَدِيثِ كِتَابُ اللَّهِ وَخَيْرَ الْحَدِي حَدِي مُحَمَّدِ صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور مودستها وكل مودسة بدع وكل بدع دلالة وكل دلالة في النار بلا Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the best speech is the speech of Allah the Quran and the best guidance is the guidance of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and people add things in Islam these are innovations these are بدع who follow بدع they will go to the Jahannam, they will go to the hellfire. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, if today is your last day, what flavor of your death be? So, kullu nafsin da'ikatul maut. All of us have to die. Today, tomorrow, any given time. Nahnu qaddurna baynakum al-maut. So Allah said, say, He set up the time of our death. So, if today is our last day, so what flavor our death could be? So that's very, very important. We have to, Muslim always ready for depart because this life is temporary. That's what Allah said, Kullu nafsin So every soul will taste death. Summa ilayna turja'oon. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us, you will be returned. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us minha khalaqnakum wa fiha nuridukum wa minha nukhrijukum 
Kafaratan Ukra. Allah created us from earth, will go back to earth, and He will raise up us again. So it will be resurrection. So in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said also, you know, the moth is not like one, two, three, you will die. So there are, there is a sacratul mouth also. So sacratul mouth will come. And are we ready for this? We think somebody else is dying with pain and it's not going to come to us. Every single of us will go through sacratul mouth. That's what Allah said, sacratul mawti bil haq and the agony of death comes and is true. So all of us have to go through the agony of death. Zalika ma kunta minhu ta'id. That is what you wish to avoid. So we think oh, it's not going to come to us. But all of us, doesn't matter who, all children for Adam, agony of death. Before that, there is a pain. Even Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he went through, because Aisha radiallahu anha reported, truly I saw the messenger of Allah when death approached him. He had a container with some water. He had a container with some water in it and which he dipped his hand, then wiped his face. Then he said, oh Allah, help me to overcome the agony of death. So the death will come and also the agony of death before, the sacratal mouth. So we have to be prepared for this. So we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, make it easy for us. So. We are the sinners. You know, Kullu Bani Adam Khatta wa Khayr al Khattain al Tawabun. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, All children of Adam, we are sinners. But the best sinner Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like, who ask forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Kullu Bani Adam Khatta wa Khayr al Khattain al Tawabun, who make Tawbah come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive us. Because we born without sin and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us forgetful and distractible. That's what Adam alayhi salam, he did wrong. That's why we are here. So, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, come and ask me forgiveness. I will forgive you. doesn't matter how many times. But there is a time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive us. There is a time when our soul is coming through the throat. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we make tawbah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not accept our tawbah. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, forgiveness is not for those who continue to do evil deeds who continue to do evil deeds up until when death comes to one of them. Allah said in the Quran, and that person said, truly I repent, truly I make tawbah. That person, will, Allah will not accept his tawbah if somebody continue to do evil deeds. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised he will not forgive them. But in any way, all the time due, uh, due to our lifetime, you know, if we make anything wrong, we have to come back seriously and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's forgiveness. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised He will forgive. Because when He made heaven and the earth, He promised, Kataba ala nafsihir rahma. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed Himself in writing, He will forgive us. But if we keep doing evil deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not forgive us. So we have to do always, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam always did every day, 70 to 100 times, is astaghfirullah. As tawbah, 
and also Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he did sayyidul istighfar every day morning and evening sayyidul istighfar is the leader of the istighfar so we if rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say if somebody say in the morning and die before evening he will go to the jannah and if somebody is say in the evening make this dua and sayyidul istighfar and die before morning he will go to the paradise and it takes like 30 minutes 30 seconds allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa ant khalaqtani wa ana abdu wa ana ala ahdika wa wa'dika ma istata'tu a'udhu bika min sharri ma sana'a abu laka bi ni'matika alayya wa abu bi dhanbi fawqi li fa innahu la yaghfir dhunuba illa only 30 seconds if we say it in the morning, die before evening, you will go to the Jannah. And if we say in the evening, die before morning, you will go to the Jannah. That's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prescribed us to do Sayyidul Istighfar and more Istighfar every time. So when we do Istighfar seriously to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah said, do not give up hope because there is nobody else can forgive but Allah. Allah said, La taqnatu mir rahmatillah, inna allaha yaghfiru dhunuba jami'a, inna hu huwa al-ghafuru rahim. Do not give up hope. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive all your sins. Then Allah said, He is the only most merciful and most kind. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us, guide us to the right path. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum. Holy Sayyid al-Muslimin, Fastal fir innahu hu al-Ghafuhu rahim. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi hamdan khasiran kama amar. Wa ashadu Allah ilahi lallahu wahdahu la sharika la. Irghaman liman jahada bihi wa kafa. Wa ashadu anna Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. سيد الخلائق والبشر أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه مسابق الغرار عباد الله اتق الله تعالى في السماع الله يأخذ للقبر وانته عما نهاكم عنه وزجر اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد نور القلب وقرة العين وعلى آل محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم فيا أيها المستقون إلى رؤيا جماله صلوا عليه وسلم تسليما خصوصا من عرش العريب أمير المؤمنين سيدنا أبي بكر الصديق رضي الله عنه وعلى زاهد الأواب الناتك بالسواب أمير المؤمنين سيدنا أبي حفص عمر بن الخطاب رضي الله عنه وعلى جامع القرآن أمير المؤمنين سيدنا عثمان بن عفان رضي الله عنه وعلى أسد الله الغالب أمير المؤمنين سيدنا علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه وعلى ولده السيدين أبي محمد الحسن وأبي عبد الله الحسين رضي الله عنهما وعلى أميه فاطمة الزهراء رضي الله عنها اللهم انصر من نصر دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واخذل من خزل دين محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وازل الشرك والمشركين ودمر أعداء الدين وحمي حوزة الإسلام واجمع كلمة المسلمين على الحق يا رب العالمين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار رب الحمهما كما رب ياني صغيرا ربنا حبلنا من أزواجنا وزريتنا قرة عين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعزكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم أشكروا لي ولا تكفرون أقيم الصلاة